are you concerned about what's going on up the hill here? Well, actually, my husband's the fire chief of Westerville, so yeah. Um, I kind of smelt the smoke earlier. I was doing some yard work, and he actually went down the road um, to the fire call, and I walked up the road, and I could see the, the brush was burning pretty bad. But luckily, he was home because usually he's working, and um, yeah, so he was first on scene. Did he just t did he tell you what it was like? I mean, is it, I mean the winds obviously are pretty well, bad. Well, yeah, so. it's a red alert day, so he kind of was already knowing that you know he had his radio on and everything, and he was looking out for anything. Um, fortunately, it happened right across the street, so um, yeah, it's like windy and it's very dry. So I called my neighbor; they live over closer to where the fire is to come home because they have a dog and stuff. So. Um, other than that, everybody's here, so I feel pretty confident. I don't see a lot of smoke coming now, so hoping that there's enough people here to put out the fire. Are you concerned about your home and your safety? No, I trust my husband. Imagine to hold in the parking lot until I have a further location. What do you think about the fact that there's a brush fire today and so close to your house? You live right here. Yeah, I'm not too nervous about it. I don't see no flames, so, you know, everybody's here got all these fire departments they're doing their job they do a great job around here so not worried about it one bit what do you do personally to protect you know the area because it's a red flag day what what do you do personally to make sure that there are no fires i mean well, we, we just make sure you don't start a fire i mean right. don't have a barbecue running make sure if you do have a fire tend it that's about it you know 